We've all heard the term BIM and VDC before. Within the industry, there's varying descriptions of what both those topics are. So let's take a little bit of time today to define BIM and VDC from a construction point of view at Mortensen Construction. So why do we perform BIM and VDC? BIM and VDC allows us to create a virtual prototype similar to the aerospace and automotive industries where they plan and they simulate their projects virtually before they go out and build. This drives certainty into our design and construction process. With increased certainty, this allows our teams to better communicate through the visual medium, which enhances collaboration across the project team, driving early, timely, the best informed decisions, which allows us to focus in on our improving our customer experience and reducing the time and cost of construction. This is what BIM and BDC allows us to do. Again, this is just one of the tools in our arsenal to better deliver our projects to our customers. Let's get started with BIM, building information models. From our perspective, BIM is simply a 3D object or a noun, it's a thing. BIM has two key attributes. One is the geometry itself, the object. Two is the associated data with that object, like the size, the location, the manufacturer specs. Those are the things that make up them. Together they form smart objects that are parametric in nature, meaning that if the data changes, so does the geometry, and vice versa. BIM software is primarily used by the architect and the engineer as their design authoring tool. The construction team also uses BIM software to develop their construction level models to be used as part of the VDC process. The design team uses BIM to extract the 2D construction documentation that the construction team leverages to build the project. Now let's take a look at VDC, or Virtual Design Construction. If you think of BIM as a noun, well, VDC is the verb, take an action on BIM. From Mortensen's perspective, VDC is a visual management process that allows us to use BIM as part of our proven construction work processes and analysis. When we look at VDC across the design and construction phase, VDC is used by our design team in their lighting analysis, energy analysis, structural analysis, um, when they look at visualization to help understand the concept and aesthetics of the project. That's VDC in action. On the construction side, we use BIM as part of our scheduling process, our estimating process, our constructability process, and all the other workflows to help us visually plan and then execute our work. There are two key areas of focus with VDC. One is the use of BIM as part of our virtual planning process. The other is the use of VDC process output as part of our execution of work in the field. This is where we use a wide range of technology solutions to bridge the gap between the field and the place of work. From robotic total stations for layout to machine grade controlling on our large equipment to mobile devices to be able to access the latest and greatest project information at the place of work, to reality capture, laser scanning, and other robotic solutions to help drive the optimization in the field. This is another part of BDC that really drives value to our team members. Let's look at BIM and BDC in a different way. Have you ever shopped at Ikea and bought a piece of furniture? Do you remember the visual assembly instructions? Well, that's a good analogy for what BIM and BDC is. Look here at this chair. The chair, the 3D model, represents BIM. Now look at the sequence of work. That's our construction schedule. That is VDC in action. We're applying the sequence of the assembly of this chair. Now also look at the tools and the parts involved in assembling this chair. These are all assembly instructions for construction. When our teams perform VDC, in essence, we're creating assembly instructions for our crews to go out and build work effectively right the first time. Let's take a look at just one of our construction work processes, planning and scheduling. Every project is built for the construction schedule, like this one. This is a traditional view of a construction schedule. Note that each row represents 
a set of activities that has a start and end date. And in a given project, they may be 300, 500, up to 30,000 activities required for us to complete a project. Now, let's take a look how BDC impacts our construction schedule. So as you can see here, each component of the building is carefully planned virtually from the start to end dates. And you can see all the adjacent work happening at the same time, the logistics of the cranes and the cars and the vehicles that support construction workflow. This is the value of VDC. We're able to solve all the bugs um, in our plan virtually before we start work. So you can see VDC is not just about BIM. It's about a, a wide range of project technology solutions that drive project team optimization. Focused on using the best tools at our disposal to improve our customer experience.